you see it? I think I see it. Should we get out of his way? How are yeah, we gonna I do would, this? I would probably. This could don't hurt. make him stop. Damage it. Looks Can't big. see into the sun. It's terrible. Oh boy. It's big. We gotta get turned around. Follow. Yeah. We gotta follow. I gotta turn wow. around. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that'll fill up a road. That is impressive. <laughs> that is impressive. But just look at the girth. <laughs> look at it. You're gonna have to get closer. Okay. I hope we don't scare him. Good thing you don't have a skinnier road. Oh yeah, the driveway, <clears> that is so beat. It's embarrassing, I'm gonna have to apologize for to him for having such a, whatever you call this. Goat trail of a path. Good. So right. honed out from the uh, <coughs> semis hauling on it, and when it was thawing, it's terrible. Embarrassing. I think he was informed there was going to be a camera. Oh, maybe. Do you think we got a... I've never thought of power washing off a roller because of road salt before. <laughs> Were you informed there was going to be a camera? What's that? Were you informed there was going to be a camera? Nope. <laughs> That's the best way to surprise them. So, this is a Summers 91 foot land roller. We currently have a Summers 84 foot. Shortly after we bought the 84 foot, they came out with a 91 foot. And uh, Summer says, hey, I think, I think you need to test out the new one. So we're going to test out the 91 foot and uh, see what we think of it. Should be an acre eater. And uh, he said this is 48,000 pounds. Quad track, I believe, weighs 54,000 pounds. So should be fun. You going to make it? It's slippery here. What is the tempo? It says 15, but it feels below zero. Woo! He's got to go all the way to Sioux Falls. Oh, man. And then out to, did you say Illinois? And it's 7.15 at night. Oh, Woo! my gosh. So, some cool stuff about summers. Eric used to intern there. Yeah. Um, so he worked there when he was going through uh, mechanical engineering school and college. And so we're excited to uh, have one of their products on the farm as a demo. Should be sweet. Too bad I didn't Barbecues. have stuff like that back when I was 14, making me custom land roll till all hours of the night. <laughs> you, with a 53 you foot this. roller and a 4960. <laughs> Granted, that was some of the best times ever, but yeah. it took a while. Back and forth. <laughs> you know, how I used to custom, or I used to land roll with a 50. Three foot roller. 53 right way we had. And we, I think I used to roll like 6,500 acres, including ours plus custom rolling back before rolling got popular in this area. That was I, a lot of seat time. Grandma would get me up and make me breakfast and wheels turning at 8 a.m. and she'd pick me up. Nope, she'd refuel me at 6 p.m. With old blue devil. Yep, because I couldn't make it on fuel. And then she picked me up at 10.30, wherever I was at. And seven days a week. Fun fact, when we used to go up to Big Iron in uh, North Dakota, Fargo, and uh, to the farm show, <clears throat> many years ago we all stood and looked at these land rollers, laughed at whoever would have that. We just thought, they are got to be totally nuts. Why would you do anything like that? Well, then a few of them showed up around here, and we thought, huh. Oh, that looks pretty good. And we hired a little bit done from some guys. And well, once you combine soybeans on a field that's been land rolled, yeah. uh, 
Yeah, we ordered the right way, got that, bought, and then Chet done the custom land rolling for quite a few years until we pretty much destroyed the frame on that little guy. And then we went to the 84 footer. Yeah, when I. Summers. I sure got yelled at for some reason when the hitch becomes. Well, detached I thought there was from, abusiveness going <laughs> When on. the hitch got detached from the unit. They called dad, dad, the, the hitch is not hooked up anymore. It's broke off. Yeah, that's... <sighs> there was a talk about speed and abuse on equipment, but quite honestly, it was just underbuilt. Well, for anybody that knows about a 4960, there is only so fast you could go with that before <laughs> you literally flew through the side window. You could go anywhere if you got going too fast, but... That was that was, a nice that was when I started with parallel tra tracking, and if anyone's familiar with that, where you have a screen that it's like auto steer, only you have to steer, but it tells you left, right, left, right, all day long, just stare at the screen, left, back and forth. Thought that was the greatest thing yeah, ever. Yeah, and I begged and begged for auto steer, and then they surprised me one spring. Never forget it. Got the universal auto steer kit put in and then it was just gravy after that. Did we even have a paintable screen? Oh yeah. 2600 you upgraded then? everything. Yeah that was <laughs> nice. <clears throat> oh yeah. Well now we got a 91 foot yeah, that should to be go exciting. out with. To replace the Eric, 84 no, footer. No Eric will be just loving it. <laughs> we'll go all night long. Yeah. You won't sleep. Alright we're gonna check in in the morning. How's it feel boys? My left arm hurts. <laughs> he strained it while we were trying to hook up the three inch hose. They go together so hard. But I believe we have finally completed this trailer. It took about a half a week less time than I was anticipating, which is good. Is this one um, mine or yours? I think that's, uh, that's mine. That's definitely mine. Anyways, should we function, make sure all the functions work on this thing and play with it? The trailer, so we bought this. Um, normally they're on their own running gear. If you choose to buy it like this, they'll either sell you it like this or on running gear. So this is designed to go right on a trailer. It comes with this subframe. You do not get this subframe if you order one with a trailer, but I did not. Uh, I needed this to go on here. Way too long, wasn't that? <laughs> confusing. Yeah, but it was good. I understood it completely. Perfect. So anyways, you need the subframe uh, to have your way bars. The way bars tell you how much is on here and it will also automatically shut down the conveyor if you put a preset amount you want to offload, which is literally the nicest thing ever when you're trying to get the perfect amount in each CCS hopper. So that's a nice upgrade, but the, maybe my favorite part about this is what we're gonna play with is when it spins around and then you can self-load the unit. Let's do it. This is almost like, the, uh, it's basically like the other one, a little bit of different stuff. That's pretty nice. Let's see if I remember how to run the joystick. It is different than the one we have, but I think it's more simple because the other one had two, has two stages, doesn't it? Where yeah. <laughs> each switch will do different functions on the other one. But now I'm going to have two different remotes now to check oil. concentrate on doing what? Hello. It does have braking oil, I think. Okay, we've managed to get it running. It's going to die. It's cold. Yep. Oh, warm it up. There is a learning curve to the new remote. I don't know how to do it. You gotta love the automatic roll start. So I'm supposed to take that black spout off if I'm actually loading it. Obviously, it comes off easy, but for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna wreck it. I'm doing pretty good for not running this thing for like a whole year. And then you put some legs down or something, or was that the old unit? 
I did this once with Doug and it took me a half an hour. So as the seed as the seed tender guy I know somewhat how to do this. It's just I'm rusty from being all winter. So basically there it is. Um, I'll be able to lower it down a lot more once the spout isn't on there so it ain't so steep. But I can load and then I'll come up with this forklift and self-load. This does have a tow conductor on it, so I'll be able to um, turn this off, obviously, when we're self-loading, but then as it's going onto the planter, it will apply the telk, so I won't get dirty. It'll just be dad now, so that'll be good. <laughs> Adjustable gate, to, so you don't overfeed it, but you know we're just gonna go wide open right away. I'm excited for this. This, 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 and that spray tender trailer, I'm very excited for this year. They're like, they're not like big expensive items, but they're like, gonna make my night life really nice. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> this is kind of nice holding the camera and not actually having to be on it. It's weird though. I think, like the people that film their channel and there's always someone holding the camera for them, you'd have to get used to that. It's hard not to turn your back when yeah. you're talking and walking away. Yeah. So like for you, you know, it's... Do I look good? No. But I could do this all day. I wouldn't even have mm -hmm. to shower. No, you wouldn't. So let's talk about how he lit himself on fire, making the last bracket he's grinding this... away. And uh, now he needs some new Big Swede merch. This <laughs> sweatshirt has been through it all with me. The same The one. payloader, <laughs> and then welding or plasma cutting here, and then, yeah, grinding the metal. <laughs> Time to order a new one from farmfolks.com. Link in the description. Always. What a sellout. Got it. You like that? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough. We can fold this up and get it out of here. Um, we'll go through it a little bit more. Well, obviously, when we get to using it so you can actually see it functioning. Um, but we did get the lights wired up. So now when the trailer lights are on, the lights up around the top, clearance lights. Looks sharp. Should we show them my light? We, we felt like, so it comes with two factory lights, we felt like we needed another one to light up back here where all of our hosing, pumps, valves, all that are for when we're loading Duggo in the dark, definitely going to be needed. There's the clearance lights up there. That was easy, we just ran two power, power ground from the side light here up into literally the harness that goes up to them, as easy as that. I just had another dentist appointment, of course. So I was gone while they were working on this. Looks like they got it bolted down again. This is what this used to be on. I'm pretty sure that you guys have never seen this on this trailer. I think we had converted it onto that trailer before I started a YouTube channel. Um, but this is what it used to look like, basically. There's a few more things that need to be obviously put back together. But this is pretty much what it was like. It's a nice little unit. We just put it on here so we had our liquid and seed on the same trailer. We are not planning on selling this as of now. I think we're gonna keep this as a spare unit, maybe black beans or something along those lines. Uh, nice to have a spare in case we have a random pop-up where we need a different variety. Um, it's not that expensive of a unit. I think Dad paid $350 for this uh, back in, Maybe 2008, something like that, 2007. And then he welded up a bunch of stuff and then had a fab shop rig up the auger system here. And then, believe it or not, I think this thing was like $3,200, the hydraulic power unit, which actually would be very nice on the low boy trailer. Anyways, so they made this when the first CCS planter showed up on the farm. Obviously, they did not want to put bags, like 50 pound bags, into the CCS planter. So they did this. It was a cheap option, still is a cheap option, and has worked great for us. It's just uh, 
time for that. <laughs> and I'm excited. Anyways, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. And I hope you enjoy and subscribe because this spring I'm super excited for um, the new equipment and just to not see snow again. And it sounds like another eight inches of snow coming. So next week, end of this week and next week. So that's not encouraging news, but anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time.